that's why we have our vacation Bible school and that's why we have our classes for our children because we want them to trust our God while they're young. Parents, I want to tell you something. This is the time while your children are young. Get them in church ASAP. Get them in the vacation Bible school. Get them in the Bible fellowship. Get them in the Sunday schools. Get them in the summer camps. The Christian, get them now because I'm going to tell you a day will come where they will no longer desire nor delight in them. Do it now while they're moldable. These are the words of the wise sage Koheleth. And he knew, and God gave him the power by the Spirit to pen these words. He says, Do it early before the sun and the light, the moon and the stars are darkened. The clouds return after the rain. He says, do it early before this desire. Things are dim and there's no longing because in the senior years, these things will begin to diminish. Kohelet begins to give us a vivid imagery of life as we progress in senior years. When you get down to verse 3, he begins to talk about the aging process. He's been talking about God and it's beautiful because he goes back. We can go back, I'm sorry, to the beginning of the book and see that he has continually talked about God's involvement in the life of every individual. But now when he gets to verse 3, he's talking about the aging process of humanity. He talks about how the body will experience these effects as it increase in age. And he used beautiful language to describe and explain how the body will begin to diminish as time progress. In verse 3, he says, in the day that the watchmen of the house tremble, he's referencing the legs. As we age, the legs are no longer as strong as they once were. We've been doing the 50 and the 50, and I'm going to let you know, boy, the legs tremble at about 25. <laughs> Jason, I appreciate it, but brother, about 25, the legs begin to tremble. The mighty men stoop. The shoulders are no longer as broad and straight. They begin to kind of round off. Verse 3, he said, the grinding will stand idle because they are few. He's talking about the teeth. The teeth are no longer standing as strong and they begin to diminish because we have to pull and replace cap, crown. Those who look through the windows grow dim, the eyesight, the vision. And the doors on the street are shut as the sound of the grinding mill is low. Your voice begins to get lower. You can't speak with that strong tone and as you once could one will arise verse 4 at the sound of the birds just the least amount of noise disturb you you want to try to when you go stay somewhere can I get a room somewhere where it's going to be quiet I don't want to hear all that noise turn that music down is it so why that music so loud and remember when we were kids we were like if it's not li if it's too loud you're too old and now you're like, why is that music so loud? Turn that down. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? All the daughters of song will sing softly. The vocal cords are just not as strong as they once were. Verse 5, he picks up the psychological aspects of life. He says, men are afraid of high places and of terrors on the road. You no longer want to climb. You no longer get on the ladder and stand on the top level. You, you don't want to do that. No, I, I better not do it. I might fall. I remember getting on the house. I was getting the freeze ball off as a kid. I just jumped off the house. I, I won't jump over a sheet of paper now. I'm just, no, I, I don't want to injure myself. As we age, there are things we're say we don't do because psychologically we're saying, I don't want to get injured. But when you're young, you don't want a helmet. You're not looking for knee braces or knee pads. Oh, I can do it. I, I got this. 
But he says, as we age, we are afraid of high places, the terrors on the road. Why are these people driving so reckless? You were once that reckless driver dipping in and out of traffic, doing 60 and a 30. Yes, he says, but as we grow older, these things change. The almond tree blossom, gray hair, the grasshopper drags himself along easily. We are easily annoyed with things because we're moving slower. We are driving slow. We're moving slow. People are bumping into us and trying to make certain we get out of the way. And we are just trying to move out of the way. But then he says, watch this. The caperberry is ineffective. The caperberry was a plant that was used for an aphrodisiac. And that plant was eating eating to increase virility. And he says that now there are those who are still taking, when you get to certain years, the caperberry doesn't have the same effect. The caperberry also was a plant that eventually would wither, and that whole imagery of the withering and the ineffectiveness because of age, he says, even the caperberry still does not bring the fulfillment that it once did. Stay with me. The aphrodisiac is not working. Why? Because we reach a point in life that is saying we're in a new season. What does the Ecclesiastes say in 3.1? He's there is a time and a season for everything. And that is what he's saying here also in this text. In verse 6, he goes on and he's still talking about this because he's talking about now the organs of the body. He says, remember him before the silver cord is broken. He's talking about the spinal cord. The golden bowl is crushed. Metaphorically, he's, again, the head, the pitcher of by the will is shattered. The lungs and the will at the cistern is crushed. The heart. He, he gives all of these organs, these imagery of life slowing down, life coming to a grinding halt. As he says in verse 5, for man goes to his eternal home while mourners go about in the street. He says, this is the slow, methodical walk to returning to what the dust that we came from. Verse 7, the earth where we were taken from and the spirit will return to who? God who gave it. Koheleth is showing us, he says, this is life. He says, this is a reality of where we live, life under the sun. And then that's why we should remember our creator in the days of our, what, youth, verse 1. Because we will have the long, slow, methodical walk of diminishing abilities in this body. He says it's inevitable. If you ever go to a funeral, sometimes you hear them sing the song, there's a leak in this old building and I got to move. Anybody ever heard that song? They would sing that song and I, I, I know you hear songs and you're like, well, you, what are they really talking about? But there's a leak in this old building and I got to move. The old building is the body. It gets old and because it's leaking and it is shifting. It is not as built tight in form. The songwriter was saying, I have to move. I need a new building, a new home. Because this temporary home that I have is not sufficient. 